Orenthal James Simpson was an American football player and actor. He played in the National Football League for 11 seasons, primarily with the Buffalo Bills, and is regarded as one of the greatest running backs of all time. Born, July 9, 1947, San Francisco, California, United States. Died, April 10, 2024, age 76 years, Las Vegas, Nevada, United States. Children, Sidney Brooke Simpson, Jason Simpson, Justin Ryan Simpson, Arnell Simpson, Aaron Simpson. Spouse, Nicole Brown Simpson, M. 1985-1992, Marguerite Whitley, M. 1967-1979. Parents, Jimmy Lee Simpson, Eunice Simpson. O.J. Simpson net worth $10.8 million. Early life. Born in 1947 and raised in San Francisco, California, Simpson was a son of Eunice, Nay Durden, a hospital administrator, and Jimmy Lee Simpson. His father reportedly worked as an employee of the Federal Reserve Bank and as a one-time bank custodian. His father was also a well-known drag queen in the San Francisco Bay Area. Later in life, Jimmy Simpson announced that he was gay. He died of AIDS in 1986. Simpson's maternal grandparents were from Louisiana. His aunt gave him the name Orenthal, which she said was the name of a French actor she liked. He was called Guy Ojeg from birth and did not know that Orenthal was his given name until a teacher read it in third grade. Simpson had one brother, Melvin Leon Truman S. Simpson, one living sister, Shirley Simpson Baker, and one deceased sister, Carmelita Simpson Durio. As a child, Simpson developed rickets and wore braces on his legs until the age of five, giving him his bow-legged stance. After his parents separated in 1952, Simpson and his sister were raised by their mother. As a child, Simpson earned money by scalping tickets and collecting seat cushions at Kazar Stadium. In high school, he organized dances, hiring a band and ballroom and charging admission. A black and white photo of Simpson Simpson grew up in San Francisco and lived with his family in the housing projects of the Potrero Hill neighborhood. In his early teenage years, he joined a street gang called the Persian Warriors and was briefly incarcerated at the San Francisco Youth Guidance Center. Future wife Marguerite, his childhood sweetheart, described Simpson as really an awful person then. After his third arrest, Simpson happened to meet with baseball star Willie Mays, who encouraged the youth to avoid trouble. Simpson said it helped persuade him to reform. At Galileo High School, now Galileo Academy of Science and Technology, in San Francisco, Simpson played for the school football team, the Galileo Lions. He graduated in 1965. College Football and Athletics Career Although Simpson was an all-city football player at Galileo, his mediocre high school grades prevented him from attracting the interest of many college recruiters. After a childhood friend's injury in the Vietnam War influenced Simpson to stay out of the military, he enrolled at City College of San Francisco in 1965. He played football both ways as a running back and defensive back and was named to the Junior College All-American team as a running back. City College won the Prune Bowl against Long Beach State and many colleges sought Simpson as a transfer student for football. Simpson chose to attend the University of Southern California, USC, which he had admired as a young football fan, over the University of Utah. He played running back with the Trojans for head coach John McKay in 1967 and 1968. Simpson led the nation in rushing both years under McKay, in 1967 with 1,543 yards and 13 touchdowns, and in 1968 with 1,880 yards on 383 carries. As a junior in 1967, Simpson was a close runner-up in the Heisman Trophy balloting to quarterback Gary Bebbin of UCLA. In that year's victory bell rivalry game between the teams, USC was down by six points in the fourth quarter with under 11 minutes remaining. On their own 36, USC backup quarterback Toby Page called an audible on third and seven. Simpson's 64-yard touchdown run tied the score, and the extra point provided a 21-20 lead, which was the final score. This was the biggest play in what is regarded as one of the greatest football games of the 20th century. Another dramatic touchdown in the same game is the subject of the Arnold Freeberg oil painting O.J. Simpson Breaks for Daylight. Simpson also won the Walter Camp Award in 1967 and was a two-time unanimous All-American. Simpson was an aspiring track athlete. In 1967, he lost a 100M race at Stanford University against the then-British record holder Menzies Campbell. 
Prior to playing football at USC, he ran in the sprint relay quartet that broke the world record in the 4x110 yard relay at the NCAA Track Championships in Provo, Utah on June 17, 1967. As a senior in 1968, Simpson rushed for 1,709 yards and 22 touchdowns in the regular season, earning the Heisman Trophy, the Maxwell Award, and Walter Camp Award. He held the record for the Heisman's largest margin of victory for 51 years, defeating runner-up Leroy Keyes by 1,750 points. In the Rose Bowl on New Year's Day, No. 2 USC faced top-ranked Ohio State. Simpson ran for 171 yards, including an 80-yard touchdown run, in a 27-16 loss. Personal Life Simpson Smiling and Holding a Baby on the Beach on June 24, 1967, at age 19, Simpson married Marguerite L. Whitley. Together, they had three children, Arnell L. Simpson, born in 1968, Jason Lamar Simpson, born in 1970, and Aaron Lashwan Simpson, 1977-1979. In August 1979, Aaron drowned in the family's swimming pool. Simpson met Nicole Brown in 1977 while she was working as a waitress at a Beverly Hills nightclub called The Daisy. Although still married to his first wife, Simpson began dating Brown. Simpson and Marguerite divorced in March 1979, 126-28. Brown and Simpson were married on February 2, 1985, five years after his retirement from professional football. The couple had two children, Sidney Brooke Simpson, born in 1985, and Justin Ryan Simpson, born in 1988. The marriage lasted seven years. Brown claimed that by 1989, police had visited the couple's house eight times for domestic violence calls and that police had not helped her in any of them. That year, on December 31, Brown phoned the police, saying that she thought Simpson was going to kill her. Authorities said Simpson had he punched, slapped, and kicked her, he pleaded no contest to spousal abuse in 1989. A family friend claimed that Simpson had told Brown's friends that if he ever caught her with anyone, he would kill her. Brown filed for divorce on February 25, 1992, citing irreconcilable differences. 136 This was after finding out about an alleged year-long affair Simpson had had with model Tawny Katine. Reports suggest that in 1993, after the divorce, Brown and Simpson made an attempt at reconciliation. In October, Brown called the police to report Simpson being violent again, after he allegedly found a photo of a man Brown had dated while they were broken up. The two broke up again, seemingly permanently, in May 1994. According to Sheila Weller, they were a dramatic, fractious, mutually obsessed couple before they married, after they married, after they divorced in 1992, and after they reconciled.